Hello everybody, welcome to Grace Bear Reviews. Let's go see what's in the fridge today. Hello everybody, welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews today. Thanks a bunch for stopping by. Today's beer comes from Funk Brewing. These guys are in Pennsylvania. This is their 365 Double Dry Hop Dry Pale Ale. <clears throat> and this is a 2019 edition. It has the canned on date on the bottom. It says canned on 0207 of 19. Uh, so today is the 10th of April. So it's March, April, almost a couple days away from being two months old. And this was sent to me by my brother Rico. So let me grab his little cheat sheet here. And this is a 6.2 percenter. Not a huge beer, guys. But it's not an imperial or anything like that or a double. It's a dry pale ale. Double dry hop, though. Uh, it says dry hop with mosaic, pacific, jade, and CTZ hops. He said he bought it at the brewery. And it was around $16 for a four pack. So, uh, about average for a big 16 ounce can, probably. So, Rico, thanks again, my brother. I do appreciate all the beer you send me. You are awesome, sir. Uh, I don't think there's anything else we need to talk about. Let me jump over to Untapped. And it's basically the same thing that Rico has written on his notes there. We don't have the IBUs on it, guys, so it is time. So let me pop this black cover cap off the top of the can. And a plain Jane silver can with a stick stick on label here. So into the glass we go. Kind of hazy and cloudy coming out of the can here. I don't want a monster head, so let me back up on that aggressive port. Seems to be very well carbonated. Very cloudy, very hazy coming out though. Yeah, let me get a little bit more in there. <coughs> Leave room for that big old nose to get down in there. Yeah, very cloudy, very hazy. Looks like a New England style beer, guys. Uh, it's got a nice orange juice looking color. Uh, it's not, it looks a little thin on the bottom part down here, but uh, it's not a huge beer. It's not a double or imperial, an 8% or a bigger. This is only a 6.2%, so let's get it to the nose. Uh, on the head there, about a finger and a half on that pour. Big soapy bubbles on the outside here. To the nose. Nice hot presence. It's not off the chain hoppy, but it is. Got a nice hot presence to it. A little bit of grapefruit and apricots. A little bit of pine, not much. Maybe a hint of some tangerines or some peaches. It smells pretty good. Let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. Cheers, Rico. Very easy drinking, very smooth, alcohol super well hidden. A little bit of mango, grapefruit, and apricot. That's what I'm getting on the taste. Not bitter at all. Most pale ales are, aren't. So this is a, a very easy or sessionable beer even though it's a 6.2% and not 5% or less. Got a lot of taste to it for a 6.2%. I will say that, it's very well done. Kind of impressive. So let me get the back end in here for our off camera and I'm gonna shake this up just to make sure there's nothing is settled in the bottom of the can and in these two months it's been sitting in it. Yeah, 
it seems to be nicely carbonated here guys as you can see it's uh, got qu quite a bit of carbonation so and it may have clouded up just a little bit more in the bottom of the glass there not quite as uh, thin as it was looking there so maybe a little bit of settling going on so uh, very impressive looking beer don't you think very nice I love these New England style beers very nice all right it's right out of the fridge guys let me sip on it for a little bit and we'll come back and see where it ends up all right guys i'm back been sitting on it a while nice slicing stuff on the glass and i expected that with the big head that it poured on the on the beer <coughs> the uh the beer is really tasty i mean it's not a tin beer to me uh, it's not exceptional or outstanding but it is a very well made 6.2 percent rye pale ale just a tad bit of spiciness from the rye But I was expecting just a tad more since it was double dry hop than I'm getting but it is still very pleasant and you guys that don't like the bitterness associated with IPAs and double IPAs this is a little easier to drink and a little smoother to drink and it's still in the New England style so if you don't want to drink a 7 to a 10 percent IPA or double IPA this would be a good choice uh, but like I said, it, as you can see, it's uh, an unfiltered, hazy style beer. Uh, and I would consider it a New England style pale ale. So, and I do enjoy that style. Uh, I think it's well made. Uh, it's got the ABV on it, and it's got the can donate on the bottom. So uh, it's the two most important things to, to see on a package, uh, whether it's a can or a bottle. And uh, very tasty. Uh, I will say that. So uh, with that being said, let's do the final chug on this one. very pleasant very pleasant beer very easy drinking I will say that 6.2 percent in a can easy pack it in pack it out something you could take to the pool or down on the beach very nice 16 out so you're gonna get a full glass pour on, on these big cans like this uh, makes it worth your while that's sixteen dollars you can do the math real quick uh, four eight twelve sixteen you're, you're paying about four bucks a piece for a very tasty rye pale ale in a New England style. So, uh, guys, to me, I'm going to give this A minus, kicking the door down to be a solid A. I'm going to give it a 94. <clears throat> Over to Beer Advocate, they say 4.18. That's also in their A minus scale. So, we're in agreement. And over to Untapped, uh, they have it at a four, uh, which is A minus scale, but at two entry level I think it's just, just a wee bit better than a four that's why I gave it a 94 so with that being said if you've had this one the 2019 edition of Funk Brewing's 365 double dry hop rye pale ale let me know what you think until we meet again let's go see what's in the fridge